Okay, so we're over at the roaster. Uh, this, this is a, a coffee roaster. We brought small batches as well. Yeah, we put, we put uh, 12 kilos of coffee, which is equal to a little over 26 pounds of coffee at a time. We only buy the finest and high-end coffee green that we buy. Uh, this is hard and, and, and consistent at this point. It is, uh, it is what's known in the market as green coffee. This coffee is very, very clean. Uh, doesn't have that much of a smell at this point. All the flavoring and all the aroma uh, is given by roasting the coffee uh, properly. So the way it works is that we have the green coffee on top over here, and when we reach the right temperature, uh, we would put the coffee inside the straw, and that drum get heated indirectly by, by, by flame, and all the coffee would go evenly. This is the level where we put all the heat, make sure that we don't we don't go too fast or we don't go too slow as, as we call it in the market as baked coffee. And, and by the way, the guy that's behind you actually works here. Yes. Hey, come here. Come on out here and introduce yourself. Who are you? I am the coffee manager of the ball. Okay, so you're the coffee manager here in Douglaston. Yes. Okay, <laughs> we want to make sure we know who's working here because uh, it's not like Benny's going to be here every day. No, not every day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, what, what I'm doing right now is I want to make sure that I have the right temperature, I have the right heat. Uh, Evenly through all the course of the about 17, 18 million that we take to go to one and back to all the coffee. Now, let me ask you a question as far as with the roasting of the coffee. Like, you chose these beans in particular. Now, of the, of the things, let's say you have your Fairway Supreme blend, are you telling, like, uh, you're getting the beans, are you getting all of these beans and roasting them? Yes, or just? Okay, so all of the, all of these beans that are actually here that you're buying, you roast first. Correct. Oh, that's really cool. So you know exactly what it should be like tasting like. Correct. Oh, well, we that's even, that's even, that's just as good as and probably cheaper than if you go to Starbucks. Huh? <laughs> yeah. we, uh, we we make sure that our coffee, the quality of the coffee, is very really, very high. We taste the coffee. We do a little lab on it where we go through different procedures of how much uh, water the coffee has inside contained. Uh, we want to make sure that it doesn't have any defects. We also want to make sure that the, the, the coffee is not clean, it's not from, from the last crop. We, we all want to make sure that we have the current coffee available. We don't buy all coffee, we only buy high end. And we try ourselves to offer the best coffee in my that we can find. Now, when you're roasting it, are you taking into consideration like the acidity of the coffee? Yes. Uh, it depends how you roast, it depends how you break down the enzymes in the coffee. And you can either roast it really fast and uh, make the coffee very bitter and not develop the sugars and the enzymes. But then again, if you take too long, you can tire out the beans destroy that as well. So the timing and temperature is very, very important because uh, there's no point in buying very good coffee, high-end special coffee like ours, and killing it in the room. So now when you take in, like, let's say you have this, where where, where will this go in terms of here? This, this particular coffee that we are roasting is uh, Costa Rica. So that's what we're going to go into the Costa Rica barrel. We're going to stay so it looks just like that after we get roasted. Oh, cool. And we, and we roast as we need them. Uh, 
we don't roast coffee in a storage bin and keep them for weeks. Uh, we roast them as we need them, so it's always fresh. Let me ask you a question. I know like they'll have uh, like chocolate covered coffee beans. Yeah. How do you, what beans would you use for? Um, I'm sure they just use a generic Colombian bean to cover with coffee. But you're talking about the, the our flavor coffee or the... No, I'm talking about when they, when you like buy coffee. something like a chocolate covered coffee bean. Coffee. Yeah, yeah, I like mean, you could, normally you can't just eat a coffee bean. No, they, they I'm sure that they use a nice quality coffee, and but the flavor that they, they perceive is more the chocolate than the coffee itself. Okay. You can eat coffee. Cool. You can't just, you can't... You can eat coffee. Oh, you can just, and uh, yeah? They don't really taste, taste good. Great. Yeah. You know, to the common person, we like to eat coffee beans, that's actually how you get some kind of a taste out of it before you buy it. Oh, okay. One day I'll try that. <laughs> you experience different flavors, actually. Oh, okay. One, one important thing about our coffee is uh, all our coffee is the type of uh, Arabica, which is the high-end coffee. Uh, we don't use any uh, Robusta coffee. Robusta coffee is used as a blend to make the, the price more, more attractive for coffee. We only really use uh, Arabica 100% we only use high-end coffee, and I stress on that because we, you know, we, we, look, we work very hard to source the best coffee out in the market. We buy, uh, what is the uh, percentage of uh, specialty coffee in the world? The specialty, the specialty coffee is about 5% of the coffee produced is, is uh, designated to be a specialty, meaning that it's being treated differently with care and has been selected and sometimes hunted bean by bean uh, to have that unique 